Over the past few days, we have seen lots of cases around the world where the newly launched flagship smartphone from Samsung, the Galaxy Note 7, exploded. In fact, 35 cases were registered where the phone just blew up. Samsung has acknowledged this problem and has stopped selling the Galaxy Note 7 for the time being. It has also arranged a return for the people who bought it. Frankly speaking, this is not the first case where a phone exploded, but so many cases from a single device and that too after just one week of usage definitely raises questions. Which brings us to the question of this video. Should you charge your phone overnight? We have all done it. Just before bed, you plug your smartphone into its charger so that it can get a full charge while you sleep through the night. The idea is to wake for the day with 100% charge on your smartphone's battery. But then you heard that charging your phone overnight damages the battery and eats away at its capacity over time. So is it just a myth or a reality? Years ago, batteries were primarily made of nickel, like the Duracell batteries you buy in stores. Nickel-based batteries exhibited a tendency to have a cyclic memory, which means that if they weren't given full charges in between cycles, they might forget their full capacity and remember the point to which they were last charged as being the maximum capacity. But today, we use lithium-based batteries, like lithium polymer or lithium ion. Fortunately, lithium-based batteries didn't suffer from the memory phenomenon often exhibited by the nickel batteries and they are able to hold a lot of power while remaining fairly compact which allowed mobile phones to become increasingly small and thin. Also, lithium batteries have a much better lifespan and recharge fairly quickly. But everything is not so simple in real life. Lithium batteries, like other batteries, discharge, which means that the battery is constantly going to lose some charge. But that's not even the main problem. The big problem is that they emit some energy in the form of heat while charging. Imagine it in this way. You have one bottle completely empty with capacity 1 liter and you are filling it at the rate of 0.1 liters per minute. But in this process, due to some human error, you spill some water outside. This is what the extra heat represents while charging. Now, once the battery charges to its full capacity, all the energy that's taken in the form of electricity from the main source is converted into heat and emitted outside. So your phone becomes hotter and hotter. And this continues till a point where the capacity of the battery to handle heat is over and the battery explodes. But this does not happen, right? Because there's a circuit located inside your phone that regulates the energy coming in. Once the battery charges to its full capacity, the circuit stops the incoming energy from the main source and your phone starts using that energy as a secondary battery, keeping your main battery at 100% charge. And hence, your battery is safe. So go ahead and charge your battery overnight without any doubt. Well, in case of Note 7, Samsung has confirmed that it's a fault in the battery that's causing it to explode. If by chance you're having a Note 7 and it gets extremely hot while charging, avoid charging it for the whole night and return it as soon as possible. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe our channel and follow us on all other social media. Share this video with your friends and click the thumbs up button. We release awesome videos every week ranging on topics like science, maths and interesting puzzles. So subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.